In this video, I'm going to create a function in C that's going to replace every occurrence of a value in an array with a different value. So here I've got an array A, and we'll set it equal to 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, and 1, 2. And this array has a length of 10. And let's say I want to replace every occurrence of 2 in this array with 3. That's the kind of thing this function is going to be able to do. So let's create the function now. Here I'll say void replace int array int length int value and int new. And this function called replace is going to accept an array as an argument, the length of that array, the value that we want to replace, and the value we want to replace it with. So we'll provide a definition of the function down here now. And the way we're going to solve this problem is we're going to write a loop that's going to look at each element in the array one at a time by incrementing a counter variable from zero up until the last index in the array. So here we'll say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than length, i plus plus. So this here is a loop that's going to go from index zero, incrementing by one each time, all the way to the last element in the array. And what we'll do is look at each value in the array, and if it's equal to the value that we want to replace, we'll set it to be equal to this new value. So here we'll say if array at i is equal to the value, then set the element at that index to be equal to new, the replacement value. So this is pretty much it. We can test this function out now. We'll give it a try. We'll say here replace a length, and we'll say the value is 2, and we want to replace it with 3. And when this is done, we'll have to actually print out the array just to see if it actually worked. So here we'll say for int i is equal to 0, i is less than length, i++, plus plus, and we'll print out each array element. We'll say printf percent %d, and we'll output the element at index i. And we'll just throw a new line here on at the end, just to make the output look a bit nicer. And when we save it and run it, we see that 2 gets replaced with 3. And so we've written a function in C that can replace all occurrences of a value in an array with another value. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.